probably you will program the uh, general purpose input output. Uh, and here we have uh, seven, or I'm sorry, eight GPI inputs. Uh, this one is programmed to recall a preset, but we could recall a uh, setup as well. For example, this is a setup uh, for this regular surround, which is what we're doing now. So once you have these setups created and put in the uh, memory of the Optimod, you can recall them by very simple commands and by using various different interface techniques. You can also uh, use uh, Telnet SSH through the Ethernet or uh, serial ports. So the uh, feature set is very full and it's designed to make life easy for the engineer. At the sim simplest level, uh, all the engineer needs to do is to set up the dial arm to agree with what's being transmitted to the audience, uh, set up the uh, reference levels so that the ADC is being driven with about 5 dB of average gain reduction. Uh, if necessary, adjust the routing switchers and finally set the output level so that uh, it agrees with the amount of headroom that you want to add. The output level does not change the loudness because that would destroy the whole point of having dial alarm. Instead, what the output level does is it, ch it uh, controls the headroom. Uh, so for a codec like Dolby AC3, you might want to allow 3 dB of headroom for the Dolby codec, so you would just set this down to 3 dB. Uh, loudness would not change, uh, peak levels would go down, uh, you might see a little more action in the peak limiter if you did that, although if you're using minus 24, even a uh, setting of minus 3, you're not going to see very much peak limiting. And once you've done that, you choose a processing preset from the list of TV presets, starting here. This uh, particular Optimod has some user presets in it too, which uh, are edited uh, processing presets uh, that were named and then saved, and they can recall the same way as factory presets can. Uh, it's usually fine to start with TV 5 van general purpose. So you choose the uh, processing preset, and then that's really all you need to do. That's the, f that's the fourth step on the air and this can all be done in about five or ten minutes once you've connected the inputs and outputs so you can get as deep as you want uh, with all of these controls but no one should be intimidated by the controls so for people who want to customize the presets usually the people who do do so know who they are and they want the control but there's no reason for somebody who just needs loudness control to ever edit at this level. So that's pretty much the uh, overview of the 8685. The 6585 does one surround or four stereos, but not both at the same time. The surround also has a loudness controlled and peak limited down mix, and you can apply pre-emphasis limiting to it so you could drive an analog TV transmitter with it. Uh, the processing algorithm is exactly the same here as it is here. Uh, you get the Optimix in both, you get the true peak limiting, the CBS loudness controller, all of the features. So this is uh, lower cost for people who are willing to uh, use the computer to do more of the adjustments because it's simpler than a panel. It's uh, just a 2x40 line LCD and then uh, the uh, LED bar graph meters. So there's enough here to do the basic setup that I described earlier, but if you want to get more deeply into the processing, then you just want to use the 6585 PC remote software that looks exactly like the 8685. Mm -hmm. So I think that that is a pretty good
summary of the surround processing that we offer. Uh, I can say that uh, this processing has been winning blind shootouts uh, against competition because of the combination of very accurate loudness control and very natural sounding loudness control. So that's pretty much the summary.